Hello, I'm Chris Jordan. I'm an application engineer at TriMac. Today we're going to be talking about inserting configured parts into an assembly. This is a question that comes up from time to time when people uh, insert a part and they see uh, a certain drop down menu to select which configuration and they wonder why do I get it uh, when I put the part in this way but not that way. So I'm going to clear that up a little bit and show you how you can um, select the configuration you want in the easiest possible manner. Uh, the first way I'm going to show you is if we just click Insert Components. When we select the part that we want to add in, you'll see here that we can select the configuration that we want. So we can insert this as a square. And just drop that down here. Another way, if I forget to select it here, just hit Open. I can see over here on the side, I can select the configuration. If I want this one to be long, drop it in there. A third way, if you're going from the file explorer, you can drag and drop that file in. And this is where you're going to see that select configuration box pop up. Uh, since we didn't have an option before to select a configuration, it's going to ask us right now. So put that one in the square. Now, once these are um, added in, it's very easy to click on any part. Um, this is just a left mouse click. And up above, you'll see the configuration. And you can drop down, choose a different one, select the check mark, and it will change the configuration on the fly. And there's obviously a few ways to do that. As I click on a part here, um, I can do it from the, from the part itself, not even in the feature tree. Um, I can also do it from component properties. And finally, with a right click, you can configure component and choose what you want the configuration to be. So those are just a few ways to configure components in an assembly. Um, and to clear up maybe some concern about why you weren't seeing that pop-up window every time you put in a component, that's really just for some toolbox features, library features, um, and things that you drag from the file explorer. So again, anything you drag from the file explorer, that's when you're going to get that select configuration pop-up. So thanks for watching. I hope this cleared some things up for you.